Nick Sautner was the greatest showman. I've never played with a showman like him, and I don't think I did there has been one. Just amazing player. The quietest bloke off the field. Get him on the field, absolute nutter. Just goes crazy. Nick Sautner has kicked more than 600 goals in this competition. Number 11, Nick Sautner. That's not missing. <laughs> Get around me, get around me, boys. Come he literally, on. He, before he even kicked it, yeah. like it's a still it guide, he's still guiding it down to his boot, and then he kicks it, and it's just like, that's not missing. That's not missing! Just walking in the club rooms uh, brings such great memories, emotions. When I think about my footy career at Sandringham, I always said I wanted to play at the highest level for the longest period, and history would judge my achievements. I remember someone early days said, using your voice is actually one of the easiest of skills. <laughs> oh mate, it'd fire you up, it'd shake you. He basically grab you and say, I'm on today, hit me, hit me, I'm on today. Crowley, I'm on today, I'm on. First time I walked in after playing at Melbourne, come up and he just grabbed me and he's grabbing me top, <laughs> just hit me here, Riggers, just hit me here. And I'm like, you know, who's this way? Just hit me here, Riggers, just hit me here and I'll do the rest. You could back it up, that was the thing. Yeah. It's like, you'd, you'd do all the antics, but then just, you know, he'd, he'd slay it out there. He'd, he'd mark everything and kick everything. That's not missing. There's no question my personality offended opposition players, it agitated opposition players. Oh, that'll get me a freak. But it also inspired me and my teammates. And so, we just all fed off. The Nick Sorter fan club they had their own Facebook page, and so to come to every game and to, to see this group of guys, to support Sandringham Football Club, to support me, it was hard to put into words. My mate Tom, always loved Nick, sort of brought us along for the ride, introduced us to the legend of the man, and then he became a bit of a cult figure for us. Yeah, I think that was part of the charm. He's just, he is larger than life and he just loves goals. That's what we loved about him. He'd just be able to pull something out special that would give everyone a lift and the crowd would go nuts here. It was fantastic. Yeah. Our home was a fortress just because of that, because the crowd would get here to watch him play. And it was pretty special. I think the main question we have is why he didn't go up to AFL. We think he would have dominated up there. So you'd have to ask others as to their opinion of my credentials as being the best player not to have played AFL. I remember being interviewed by Mike Sheehan and I made a comment, I'll always die wondering. And I would have loved to know. That was the thing. I think Nick was easily good enough to play AFL football and probably better than 50% of the players who were playing at the time, you know? It wasn't meant to be, but I'm very proud of what I was able to achieve at VFL level. And the legacy of our era of excellence is still being felt at the club. My life's better because of Sandringham Football Club and the players and the officials and the fans.